Hey everybody, this is Speed Racer, and this geometry lesson is on circles. Okay, so go ahead and draw a circle. Remember, I'm going to go kind of fast. You can pause it wherever you need. Circles are named by their center, so that would be circle P. And you just draw a little circle with a dot in the middle so it doesn't look like the letter O or the number zero. Okay, there's a radius right there. Uh, that's a diameter. Notice the diameter is two radiuses, so a D equals 2R. Okay, you guys, I'm sure you've seen that before. You've probably even seen chord. That's a chord right there. Okay, that's a secant. A secant is a line that contains a chord. A chord is a segment where the endpoints are on the circle. Okay, so this is a line that goes through the circle in more than one spot. Okay, if it only intersects the circle in one spot, it's called a tangent. So there's a tangent line, and that little point right there is called the point of tangency. Okay, so tell whether the line, the ray, or the segment is best uh, described as a radius, a chord, a diameter, secant, or a tangent of the circle right here. Okay, so there's the picture right there, and there's a, so there's a 1, 2, 3, and 4. So AC is a, is a radius. AB is a diameter, segment AB. This is segment AB. This is ray DE, so starts at D and goes through E past it. So it's, that one is called a tangent uh, ray, a tangent ray. And AE, AE is a definite secant right there, okay? And then I have a couple more that goes with this. Okay, uh, what words best describes AG? AG is a chord. How about CB? CB is a radius, okay? And then uh, name a tangent and a tangent segment, okay? So here's a tangent right here. It's the whole line. So you can describe this whole line in several ways. Line DB, line DE, line BE, and you can reverse all those letters. Just make sure it has the line symbol on top of it, because tangents have line signal, single, symbol. Sorry, otherwise it'd be a tangent ray, or sometimes they call them a tangent segment, like this one. Tangent segment has to include the endpoint, so you can say DB or BE has to have the endpoint B as as the point of tangency has to be the one of the endpoints. Okay, so a couple of definitions. Coplanar circles that intersect in one point are called tangent circles. Okay, those circles are tangent to each other, so they're tangent circles. Those ones also. Okay, coplanar circles that have a common center are called concentric circles, like a dartboard, or like the ripples in the water when you throw a rock in it, and the ripples, the waves that go away. Uh, tangent circles. A line, array, or segment that is tangent to two coplanar circles is called a common tangent. Okay, so this line is tangent to this big circle and this little circle right here. This line is tangent to both these circles, so it's, there, it's called a common tangent. Okay, so how many common tangents do the circles have? How many common tangents can you draw? Pause it and just kind of think. Okay, I see four of them. There they are. How about this one? I see three of them. Okay, how about this one? I see two of them. Can you guys think of circles that don't have any? How about circles that have just one? Can you think of those? Okay, in a plane, if a line is tangent to a circle, um, uh, if and only if uh, the line is perpendicular to the radius at its outer end point, and you're thinking, huh? Well, this is what it says right here. This line is tangent to this circle if it makes a right angle out here, okay? So the code word is tangent means right angles, okay? So uh, in the figure, P, uh, segment PT is a radius of circle P, and, and it, so is ST tangent to circle P, okay? So there's the figure right there. So I want to know, is that a right angle right there, okay? So, um, so I want to use the old Pythagorean theorem. If it is a right angle, then your Pythagorean theorem would work out. So, is this leg squared? Whoops! Is this leg squared plus this leg squared equal to that leg squared? So that's what this says over here. Okay. So is 12 squared plus 35 squared equal to um, 37 squared? And it turns out, yes, it is. So, so since it, uh, the Pythagorean theorem works, and that means that's a right angle right there. Alrighty, so it means a tangent to it. So in the figure, B is the point of tangency, then find the length of the radius. Okay, now do you see that right angle right there? Okay, the only other piece right there is AC. What is AC? A common mistake is people want to say 50R. It's 50 plus R. So go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, and then you get to that right there. 2500 squared plus 100R plus R squared equals um, uh, 6400. And you might be wondering, where did that come from? That came from foiling out 50 plus R times 50 plus R. Okay, and then go ahead and solve and you get uh, 39 feet. Okay, tangent segments from the same external point are congruent. So if these are, these are the same external points, so this segment is congruent to this segment as long as they're tangent from the same outside piece. So RS is tangent circle C, 
at s and rt is tangent to circle c at t find the value of x okay it's easy enough this side equals this side so you go ahead and set 3x plus 4 equal to 28 and you get uh, x equals 6.